Uh, he, he's not been doing too badly. Good shot, Mike. He shot clear in Oberhof, the sprint, and I think he went clear in the mass start as well, under pressure. He shot clear, obviously, yesterday in the interview. That again, maybe Mike can talk us through the, the absolutely crucial elements of the foot placement. So, Volkov Ustigov, uh, Ustigov just going ahead. He's... Uh, He's, he's accurate as well, 20 out of 20 in, in the Hockfilson pursuit. So I guess when you've shot... Oops. I think he's got to step it up a bit if he wants to beat the tally of 93 biathlon World Cup victories. Just thinking, though, Foucault hogged all the victories last year. What was it, 10, 11 victories? Hard to, to get any under your belt when Foucault is so good. That's a positive start from Svensson. He'll stay ahead of the two Russians. Volkov slips up first. Um, could find himself giving up third place to Yakov Fak, who's going well at the moment. Yakov Fak's shooting a little bit slower than normal, but he's got five, and that is what counts. A miss from Simon Foucault. Maybe that will knock his... And actually only won the title because Martin Foucault uh, looked over his shoulder to see where, where the Norwegian was, lost his balance, and threw it away with just five metres to go until he crossed the line. Yeah. Ustikov, sorry, he left the range only four points. You're in your race, you, you don't expect someone to, a coach, like no. a friend, to run into your skis. I mean, no, that but was if shocking. he's taking a drink, if he's taking a drink, surely Schlesinger has to keep his skis together because he can't expect the, he can't expect the drink provider to be a ballet dancer and jump out the way. I'm with you partly on that, but he was, he was, he was dropping down. He needed to get his skates in to keep the momentum down that descent. Maybe the coach should have been farther up on the, towards the top of the hill. And that, that, that could absolutely ruin uh, Schlesinger's race, the fall. He, no, no, straight into position. He got five last time, so he'll reason I can do it again. He's halfway to his fourth victory in two weeks, Emil Hegler Svensson. Whoever thought he was going to have a poor season when they saw, them up, saw him up in uh, Ostersund at the start of the year. Jakob Fack, five out of five, first time, the same again, second time. Ustia Goff goes clear. Dominic Landerting, a keepsman of the inside ski. I'm assuming that was Simon Schemp. The Germans with uh, only Danny Boehm in the top 10 at the moment. Norway still leading, 11 seconds clear of Jakob Fack of Slovenia. We had a Czech win this morning. Will we get uh, his break up the ice, which is now the surface? When they started the race, there was a little bit of loose snow with all 60 coming around that corner. The loose snow has gone and uh, they've now been left with uh, a sheet of pretty grim ice. Now the first of the standing shots. <laughs> How so, do you match that? How do you match that? So good. He's at the top end of his physical exertion out there. The breathing has to be kept under control. He's got the world chasing him. No tension in Svensson's body. No one's missed a standing target yet. That's usually a sign that someone will in the next second or so. <laughs> no, fat clears. Landertinger misses one. Ustigov secures his place in the top three for now. And so far, he's not put a foot wrong, but has he earned enough of a lead to be able to afford a miss? That's really the crucial factor at this stage of the race. 8.9 kilometers completed, 1,100 meters to go before the final shoot, and Fack is now 19 seconds down. If pressure on. This for a win. <laughs> Ooh. It sounded hard, it sounded like a split round, but Svensson gets his second win in succession. That's four in five races, four in two weeks. An incredible rise up the World Cup rankings, and he's closed the gap on the world number one. Jakob Fack with second place. Otherwise, Mike, when it comes to the final descent, which is coming up at the top of this climb, you want to be in second place as the group comes into the stadium, get some sort of slipstream. A race is on for the Crystal Globe at the end of the season. And if Antolz goes Svensson's way, they might be level at the end of that World Cup. And of course, just before the start of the Olympics. Jakob Fack, best race of the season. He's on the podium. Again. We are the